Gary Newman with uh, Primary Weapon Systems. Today we have the UXR, the SHOT Show that we're releasing. The UXR is truly an ambidextrous, multi-caliber rifle system. What makes this really unique is we go from 5.56 to 308 in the one platform. So on, on, this, on this system, we have the traditional folding stock, adjustable the pole, adjustable cheek piece, and ambidextrous controls. But the real heart of the weapon is an interchangeable barrel, a bolt, and a magwell that can be changed out for the different calibers. So I can take a 532nd Allen screw, loosen up my trunnion bolts. My trunnion bolts, I only need to turn about a, bolt, a turn and a half. I can unlock the bolt and pull the barrel out of the front. Now, there's a lot of unique technology sitting in here. We hold on to about five inches of the barrel. And this allows us to get a return to zero within a half minute every time you do a caliber change. We have a three position gas block and an evacuation chamber. The evacuation chamber, when the projectile is going down barrel, will pressurize. When it leaves the barrel, and the noxious gases forward so you're not getting a lot of suppressed gas in the face. The back end of the gun is, is, is truly unique as well. I'll take down the takedown pin, remove my fire control set setup. So here I have my, um, my ambidextrous controls. I have an AR-15 compatible grip and an AR-15, AR-10 compatible trigger. Um, this is a, a trigger tech two and a half to five pound trigger that comes with a rifle. The magwell can be removed. This is set up with a Stanag magwell, um, but I have one for an SR25 and a, a AK47 that takes rocker mags. I have my, my magazine release and my bolt catch bolt release there. I can simply remove my action spring from the rear of the gun, remove my bolt carrier group, and I can do a, a, a bolt head change very similar to an ADR-15 platform. Got a retained firing pin, Remove the firing pin there, knock out the cam pin, and remove the, the bolt. At this point in time, I have the serialized receiver. It's caliber agnostic. It's a billet aluminum upper, a titanium trunnion with stainless steel guide rails for the, for the uh, bolt carrier group. When I want to reassemble, I can always check, and I have two dots there and two dots there on the mag well. This will make sure that I get my conversions correct. 308 would have a single dot. But I can go forward, take my bolt carrier group, and reassemble with my cam pin. My firing pin spring, my firing pin. Hit the retain pin, just make sure it works. At this point, I take my magwell, karate chop it forward. My bolt carrier group, my action spring, and then I can put my fire control module back in from the rear on the tongue and groove with my tape down pin. Take off the barrel, the barrel length that I want with the caliber. Comes through the front into the trunnion. Find, find the location pin, make sure it doesn't turn. And as long as I tore this down to 80 inch pounds in the same sequence every single time, I will return to my zero within a half MOA. Wow. At this point, I can do a function check. Everything works. Lock the bolt back. It's ready to go. And that's the UXR. Very cool. Is it ambidextrous controls? Yes, ambidextrous controls. I can move the uh, charging handle, which folds, and non-reciprocating from either side. I just use the back end of a casing, pop up the pin, move it to this dovetail. When are they getting released? So, uh, right now we're planning on shipping at the middle of February. The MSRP is $2,500. Okay. Uh, we have conversion kits, which is the barrel, the bolt, and the magwell. Those will run about $550, and we're releasing with the 300 Blackout, 556, 308. Every quarter we plan to release some more. I'm already working on the 86 Blackout, 76239, and the uh, 65 Creedmoor. Very cool. And then what barrel lengths are you going with? So most, most everything will be released in either a 16 inch or a 14 and a half drilled and pinned. Okay. But then we're going to, um, once we get our calibers released, we're going to go to the 10 and a half inch barrels and in, in the, in the different lengths between. Okay. Now for the triggers, are these drop-in only? No, it will take any AR-15, AR-10 okay. compatible trigger. That's awesome.
Very cool. Thank you for going over that with me. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the SHOT Show content. It is all brought to you by the channel sponsors, Brownells, Tecto Knives, Locks and & Company, and Howitzer. So please go show them some love and support because they support the channel and allow me to do the things I do here. Brownells is the Amazon of gun parts. You can use code TA10 to save 10% off orders $150 or more, and that code is limitless. You can use it as much as you want, share it with your friends, and have fun with it and save money on some bills. Tecto Knives has a great selection of knives that I've been using for months. I've been using them every day at work, and I've had really good success with them. Also doing a giveaway of those here soon if you would like to win one. Locks & Company makes products for your hair, your beard, your skin. They make shampoos, deodorants, body scrubs, a lot of other things as well with really natural ingredients, which is why I really like them. And they're also doing a Tactical Advisor hair product as well. So stay tuned for that here very soon. You can use code Tactical Advisor and save 10% on your order. Howitzer is a clothing brand that donates 5% of proceeds to charity and they collaborate with me with my own Tactical Advisor t-shirt. Link in the description if you would like one. If you like giveaways, take a look at my Patreon and memberships here on YouTube and you guys can join to win some really cool things.